Hey, what's up, guys? Then my offer simple snippets, and I'm back with another video tutorial on quantitative aptitude. So in this video tutorial, I'll show you a trick to quickly find out the square of a number using the a plus b the whole square formula. So let's see the quantitative aptitude trick. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we have to find out the square of 32. So how do we go about this trick? So the first step is to divide the two no two digits in two different parts. So this is the part a and this we consider as part b. So we know the two different variables a and b. So a is 3. So calculating a square, we get 3 3s are 9. Then the center part is 2ab. So 2 into 3 into 2. So that would be 12. And b square that is 2 in this case. So 2 square would be 4. Okay, so in order to calculate the final answer, we have to start from the right to left and we have to consider each of these three terms. So for the rightmost term, we have to take only one digit. So in this case, we have only one digit. So we'll write it as it is 4. From the center term, we have to take one digit. So we have to take the rightmost digit. So here it is 2. So I'll write 2 over here. And the other digit, we have to add it to the leftmost part of that term. So we have to add 1 to this 9. So 9 plus 1 would give us 10. And for the leftmost part, we have to write it as it is. So this is our final answer. So if you calculate 32 square, it would give us 1024. So let's see another example. Let's calculate the square of 42 using the same trick. So again, dividing it in two parts, we have a as 4 and b as 2. So a square is 4 square, that is 16. The center part is 4 into 2 into 2, that is 2ab. So this would again give us 16. And the last part is b square, that is 2 square in this case, that would give us 4. So to calculate the final answer again, we take one term, that is the last term. From the middle term, we have to take the rightmost value, that is 6. And the leftmost value is to be added to the leftmost term. So 16 plus 1 would give us 17. And we have to write it as it is in the final answer. So this forms the final answer. So if you calculate 42 square, it would give you 1764 as the answer. Pretty simple, right? So let's see one more example of a two digit number. Let's calculate the square of 68. So according to the formula and steps, we divide it into two parts. So this is A and this is B. So A square that is 6 square would give us 36. The center part is 2 into 6 into 8. That would give us 96. And the last part that is 8 square would give us 64. So in order to get the final answer, we have to take the rightmost value from the first two parts. So now here you can see that we have two digits. So for the first and second sum, we had only one digit, but in this case, we have two digits. So we have to take the rightmost as our final answer component. So four and transfer this or add this to the left component. So we have to add 96 plus six. So this would give us 102. Now again, for the center part, we have to take the rightmost value. So I'll write two over here and transfer this 10 or add this 10 to the term left to it. So we have to add 36 plus 10 that would give us 46 and this would be directly written to get our final answer. So 68 square would give us 4624. Now let's see an example where we have to calculate square of a three digit number and the process remains same and it's pretty easy as well. So we'll calculate the square of 122. Now here we just need to take care in the division part. So we have to divide the number in such a way that the both numbers are small. So by that I mean if I divide or split the number in this way, that is this is A and this is B, you can see that 22 is a big number and to perform calculations it would be tedious. So instead of that, I'll split 122 in 12 and 2. So 12 and 2 are relatively small numbers compared to 22 and 1. So this would form A and B. And again, the process remains the same. So first A square, that is 12 square, so 144. The center part is 2AB, that is 2 into 12 into 2. That would give us 48. And the last part is 2 square, so it would give us 4. Now again, from the last part, we take the last digit. So we have 4. From the center part, we'll take the rightmost digit. So we have 8 and we transfer 4 or add 4 to left of its term. So we have to add 144 plus 4. That would give us... 148 so we have to take this entirely to form the final answer so 122 square would give us 14884 so this is how we use this a plus b the whole square trick to calculate squares of different numbers and it's a pretty cool and quick trick and it will surely help you in your aptitude calculations if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace